Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to use Photoshop Elements to remove a watermark from a photograph. Make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos, and if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this watermark here. And the first thing you want to do is to make a duplicate of the background layer. Just right click on the name and duplicate layer, choose OK. There you go. Reason for that is I want to save this background layer here as a safety. Just in case things get messed up up here, we can always go back to this and start over again at that point. It could just potentially save some time in the future. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in here. Some of this will be real easy. Other parts will be just a bit more work to do. We'll start off with this. It's a bit too close. I'll back out one notch. There we go. Okay, I'll be using the magic wand up here. I have my tolerance set down here at 20 is pretty good. And then just click inside and make a selection right there. Now I want to grow the selection a little bit. That's because there's going to be a little bit of an outline if you don't. So let's go up here to select, come down to modify and expand. And I'll expand it by two pixels. Choose OK. So it's just a little bit outside the letter. Okay, now go up to edit, come down to fill selection. And you want to have it set for content aware. It's right there and choose OK. And there we go. And then edit and deselect. Okay, that one's perfect. So some of these are going to be very easy like that. We'll just go ahead and work our way through. Select, same thing again. We want to modify, expand, two pixels, choose OK. Edit, come down to fill selection. And there it is. And then deselect and that's done. So if you have a nice background, this will go pretty easy. Now it may be a bit more difficult when you have things changing like we have in here with this E. That's a bit harder. I'll come in here, I'll grab this part of it. We'll just do this a piece at a time. Same thing again, there's our selection. Come down to Modify, Expand, OK, Edit, Fill Selection, and OK. That's pretty good. Now some of these like in here, where it's almost the same, you can't really do this. You'd be selecting too much area this way. So for things like that, we'll do this the old fashioned way and that's using the clone stamp tool. I have myself for a soft brush in opacity, about 50% opacity is good. You want to kind of edge up on this. And I'll just come right down here, hold the Alt key down and click, bring it up here and then just tap in a few times like that until it goes away. And this may take just a few times to do this to get it just right. So whenever it's too close, go ahead and use the clone stamp tool. You may need to make your brush larger or smaller for that, but this is probably the best technique for these that are just, you know, just about the same color as the background. There we go. Okay, now over here, we have them kind of going off the edge like this. Let me show you how to handle this one. Same basic idea, back to our magic wand. Let's click inside that and just do this a piece at a time. Do this part here. Then do this part up here and then come over and do this bit here. If anything is remaining, then just do that with the clone stamp tool and kind of clean it up that way. That's really all there is to it. Just do your first try with the magic wand and with that content aware fill. And then if that works, great. If that doesn't work, then you want to go back and just do it the hard way using the clone stamp tool. Let's just do one more of these in here. Again, modify, expand, two pixels, OK and then edit and come down to the fill selection content aware choose OK and that will usually do a very good job for you again depending upon how close it is to the background so there you go I'm just going to pause the video for a second and I'll finish out the rest of these letters real fast and we'll take a look at the finished result okay there we go there is the finished picture I think it looks pretty good let's just compare this to the original there's the original there's the watermark and there's the one we just fixed using the magic wand, the content aware fill, and when that didn't work, then just the clone stamp tool. So there you go. That's how you remove watermarks from a photograph. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more of these Photoshop Elements videos. Take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. It's the best way to learn this program. The link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.